Right, we're back at the Weybridge. In this video, is Operation Lightweight on track? We've hit a very large instant shade awning, an instant shower cubicle, have the final interior pre-build discussion with Rob, find a 200 amp hour battery with an amazingly small footprint, and I choose a light bar. And this time we've got the added weight of the roof tent conversion, awning and ensuite. So we are two seven zero zero, give or take. That's one three four two four two on the rear and one three six zero on the back. And uh, still the front is heavier than the back. And that's a, by about what, 20 kilos. That's hardly anything. That's about to change because up to now, Almost everything we've done on the vehicle has been adding weight to the front and front and back. Little of it, back axle weight alone. And that's gonna happen now. In other words, right now, as you can see, the interior is pretty just empty. Nothing in there. So if I've got 2,700 kilos of current empty weight and when I say empty I'm I fill up and brim the tanks before I do these before I weigh the car I brim the tanks so I've got 600 kilos to play with and 600 kilos well if I want to make it and I think I seem to remember saying 150 kilograms under GVM that means I've got 450 kilograms until I hit that point and that of course is full of water and, and with my camping equipment all loaded in. It is going to be close. We started on the 14th of July, 2021 with a total weight, brand new vehicle, 2,456 kilograms. Then two or so months later, 2,566 kilograms. And we've jumped to 2,702 kilograms. A total weight gain of 246 kilograms. What have we done to gain that weight? Apart from the tent camper conversion, I fitted this awning. I am the kind of traveler that is often on the move, so instant shade is a luxury that I've gotten used to. There is a weight penalty of around 30 kilograms. But this one, the Quick Pitch Weather Shade 270, ticks all my shade boxes. So you said that they have changed this fabric. It looks a little bit different. Is it the same fabric as they? No, it's, it's um, exactly the same. It's, it's actually better. Yeah. And what they did, they changed the size of the bag as well, so it's more comfortable if you have a sidewall kit. There are a lot of good awnings on the on the market, um, and this is one of them. It's huge. It's absolutely, it's the biggest. I think it's the biggest. You can add the legs. So in it? Yeah, in it. Because when, when you add the legs for the sidewall kit, the awning become a little bit bigger. So they wanted a little bit more room into the, with the That bag. makes sense. Yeah. The other product is the ensuite. It's basically an instant shower privacy curtain. And it's called a quick pitch ensuite. It is, as far as I know, the, certainly in recent years, the most copied product that I can think of. They came up with this product, <clears throat> Quick Pitch was the original, and everybody decided, oh, that's a good idea, we'll just copy it. Okay, matching, yes. matching, well done. So I had one of the prototype hard cases on my previous trip carrier, and then I swapped it for a soft. I actually prefer the soft, even though the soft is more susceptible to damage from brushes and branches because of the lighter weight and it's a little bit easier to pack in and a little bit lighter and just preferred the look. And it looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. That's really nice. Really nice.
what this means is that privacy for a shower or other things is instantly available. Ah, they've moved the zip. Good. That's an improvement. It's a minor improvement. But they've m before it was there and then zipped up. Now it's here and zipped down. That is an improvement. Much better. Much better. Great. So at the moment, with regard to the back um, and everything being put into the back, um, we've got a final design. What we need to do now is put all of the bits and pieces in place and make sure that the, um, the room that we have allowed for large items like water tanks and inverter and the fuse box, you know, uh, how much space have we allowed for them and not only that, can we access them? Is the access working? And that is what I'm about to do now. I'm after PCS to sit with the guys. I've got the electrical equipment in the back of the troop carrier and we're going to do a fitting test uh, before we draw up the final design for the back. Because it should be just the case. Are you alright there, Andy? No, no. Okay. I'll tell you what. How you do it. Let it go because it's obviously too much. <laughs> So this is now the third one that you've done for a client where we're working up to mine and yeah, fine-tuning. So each one has a different tweak to it yeah. and then eventually we'll get to the... The combination of all the best of all three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's, and it's close. Yes, we are close. Yep. So that weight is... Twelve kilos. Yeah. Yep. So we know the heights are So what we need to do now is we need to do establish the location for the boiler, which you've got here. Yep. The inverter, which I've just brought. The uh, oven. These are all the last large bits. We know how big the batteries are, and we know where they're going to go. Yep. So with this in here, we can now measure the space behind the passenger seat for the water tank. And we're going to we're going to make the first one. We're going to actually have it made stainless steel. Yeah. Yeah. But we also talked about have, offering a s easier solution with poly with poly tanks that are off off the shelf. Off the shelf straight. But okay. We're hoping to use. We're hoping to get two side by side rather than one, because obviously no baffles. So if you've got one. Yes. In there. So just to explain this with the baffle, but the baffle story, if you have a large quantity of water or fluid in a tank and there's no nothing to stop it sloshing it will you'll feel it you'll hear it and it can be a, quite uncomfortable so if we do um, and and poly tanks don't have any baffles if we build a stainless steel tank we build in baffles we don't have to worry so then you can have one big tank that's it yeah okay we can put I quite like the idea of two separate tanks because of that that whole thing what happens if you do lose a tank it's never happened to me mm. to lose a tank but you know, um, I kind of like the idea of having two separate tanks, but if you have two 50-ish litre polys, then that's going to reduce the, the amount of weight, the amount of um, yeah. momentum yeah. the water has got as it's moving from one, to one side of the tank to the I'd, other. I'd leave them <coughs> separately. Yes. So that as you empty one, one is still full. Because yes. the fuller it is, the less movement. So empty one completely yes. down and then start on the yes. next one. Just flick the switch. Yes. Oh, compressor. So that's something we're going to need to have a chat about. Compressor. What, what do you want me to... I, I don't want it there. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> Where I do you, where I do just you, don't want it there. Where do you want it? Only over that side. You do? I think it's better this side. For the simple reason, you're going to lose a fair bit of room at the back of this unit. Yes. And your air circulation isn't going to be fantastic there. No, it's not. So if we stick it over this side, you've got plenty of room and lots of air. All right, I don't have a problem with that. That's cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's 
not going in there. No, the boiler won't fit. No. Too tall. Uh, tall. Just get it in. So, have we got the size of the batteries? I don't have the size of the batteries in my head. Well, if we look those up, yes. we can see if we can play around with the configuration in here. Yes, we can. There's a lot of room in there. And if we can swing the batteries to here and do a divider at the front, then we can get the boiler in the front. The fact is that we've not actually settled on the batteries until now because we were waiting for a new one and it's just arrived. Nat, you're not fooling me. <laughs> you told me that this, the new 200 amp, yeah. is not much bigger than this. That's right, that is actually the 100 amp. That's the 100 I know amp it's a 100, 100 amp. Go, and, go and bring the 200 and put it behind it. Oh my heavens. That is the 200 amp. Oh. That's unbelievable. Look at the difference. It's almost the same size. It's just a little it's bit about, taller. It's about, it's about 15 millimeter longer, 20 mil taller. It's a bit heavier, not massively. It's probably half again as much. Yeah. It's brilliant. That is amazing that they've squeezed that. As far as I know, that is the smallest 200 amp hour battery package that I did. That that's I smaller than the 150. The Amtron 150 is bigger is, than that. Yeah, that's right. Usually we would use the 150 all the time because footprint wise, that was the best amp hour to volume ratio. This is a lot better. Does this fit in your battery box? The National Lunar battery box, Heiner Klarman's version of it. And I have a Amtron lithium battery. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> we will have to. Oh, cut you're gonna have to cut. Off. You have to cut the little. But well, I've already talked to them. Maybe there is a version where we can sort of get around that problem. But that it does fit with, without that. That's amazing. Into the battery. That is actually amazing. It is. And the fact that the two poles are close to each other yeah. makes the the wiring a little bit, a little bit easier. Well, slightly shorter, I guess. That's why we use this instead of the 150 because you've got less volume, you get more capacity, and the weight is about the same. It it's unbelievable. Be, it will be mad to use. I the mean. Other ones. Lithium has been a game changer oh, so. and it's changing every six months the game has changed again. <laughs> Look at that amount of capacity for that shape. That's extraordinary. Yeah. Cool. I thought you would be excited about that. And that's amazing. <laughs> so it's, there's no point in shortening this down so that, that comes further to give us more room for the water because that at the moment is up against the whirl arch. So we can't go that way anymore. Height-wise and everything else, it works out. So if we go purpose-built, we can get 81 litres in there with the inverter sitting there like that. Stainless steel with baffles. All right, sounds good. Yep. And then for those people that don't have the need to run a power station in the back of their car, we should be able to get two polytanks in because I'm gaining about a metre <laughs> where we're taking this inverter out. <laughs> so those people who are not putting a power station, i.e. why are you doing this? It's because mm. of this, induction cooking. Induction the price cooking. of induction cooking. Yep. This is real life, folks. This is what it costs. Modern society. Yes. Going on the size of that uh, battery, we can go battery here in this section, then we can go tank across there, and then we can go water hook there. All that will fit underneath the fridge. Well, that's really very good. good. Yeah. And you're saying inverter left with Inver tank inverter with an 80, li tank. 80, uh, 80 litre 80 tank. Liter water tank, then battery water hub and boiler on that side and then fridge above which will should even you out quite nicely quite well yeah that is really something it's beautiful it looks so good i believe they're brilliant as well 
Lazar. Boy, they're beautiful. They're made in England, which is unusual for. That's actually they're actually made there, not branded in England, made in England. And I understand that they are superb. I didn't three months ago. I'd never heard of them. This is an 18-inch laser linear high-performance LED driving light with a throw of 975 meters and a power consumption of 126 watts, weighing, give or take, one kilogram. Why don't you get a bigger one? Well, that's not a particularly light piece of kit. And if I'm going to put it up top, I don't want more weight up top. I've already got plenty to get on with up top, with the awning and the ensuite and the camper conversion. I've got, I've got enough weight up top. So, and these really, with the, with the, the uh, Heller rock looms and this, I will have more light than I've ever had on any vehicle that I've ever owned by a long measure. So, yeah, it's plenty. Thank you so much for watching. These videos are made possible by contributions from Patreons. Join our Patreon family now.